Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Thanks for hanging out with me again. We're going to get the lead out right now. Uh, but real quick, I have a lot of in-depth lessons at my website, GuitarJams.com. I'm going to leave a link for the website right down there, and you can try it for free for three days. See all the different lessons I have on there, techniques, theory, licks, acoustic, anything you need. But in the meantime, let's zoom in and break this one down for you right now. Here we go. All right, so it's definitely not a beginner song, but I'm just going to break it down the best I can. Uh, I mostly earned this, uh, sorry, I earned it. I learned it by ear, and then I, you know, checked some stuff just to see how accurate I was, but I'm pretty much going to get away with it doing it this way. Uh, the first chord is uh, A13. If I say, do you know A13? Okay, so the easiest way to play that chord is this little three finger thing. So it's going to be the middle finger on the seventh fret of the D, index on the sixth of the G, and then ring finger on the seventh of the B. And you want the low A open in there. And it's okay if you get the high E in there. So do do ba da ba A13. Then it goes to an E7 chord or an E9 chord. Now if you're playing this little thing from A13, it's the exact same shape, scooted up a string. So now it's the seventh on the A, sixth on the D, and then seventh on the G. And then sometimes you can alternate and add your pinky to that seventh of the B. So that's the mellow part of the tune. So it's like, and da 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 da, da A13. Then E7, back to A13, E7 or 9, back to A13, E7, one more time. Doesn't go to the, to the E7 on the last one because it goes into... So forth and so on. So we got to get that now. So the basic gist is that we want an open A pedaling as we do some stuff on the D string. And so it's going like this from the on the D string from the fifth to the seventh. Dun, da, 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 da. That seven and five, hammer, da, 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 but with the open A in there. Okay, so it's like, then the same rhythmic idea, but from the five to the four. So, but the open A is in there. So then it's the uh, fourth down to the second. And then just try and get that open A in there. My thumb kind of comes over just because it's muting that string so I can get my open A while that E string's just getting muted by, by my thumb. I am also tend to use my index to my pinky, and that's just because it's giving me extra palm coverage and finger coverage to mute what I don't want. You know, you're just getting those two, but the rest of my hand's kind of muting so I can kind of rock out, turn the distortion pedal on, stuff like that. So you've got seven to the five, five to the four, four to the two, and then a D, to an A, and you can do power chords, but I'm doing this kind of thing, and a D bar chord, and then hammering on 
the A major bar chord. So that bar is down, then I hammer that E looking shape right there. So, if I da 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 da. And on that E7, you can get that low E in there. I don't remember if I said that or not. Open A is in there. Open E is in that one. B will be pretty baby. Same thing again. So it does that twice. Now we need a new section. It's a B power chord. Well, I'm doing a B power chord. So you got second fret, fourth fret, fourth fret. Then the open A. So it's like. So I'm just basically holding a B power chord, but then I'm getting the bass in there. So it'd be like. You will be mad about taking a time. So it's uh, two O. Four on the low E, then another thing. Now look, I wasn't thinking about it because I've been playing guitar a long time, but my thumb came and muted that low E just because I know I'm getting that open A in there. Ah, screwed up. Next, I'm using my middle finger to get to that bass note. So the same thing we did on D to A major, we do right here, uh, and it's B to F sharp major. So. After we go, bah, bah, stays on F sharp. Uh, let's see. So F sharp to A major. So a little pull on the third fret of the low E to the open E. Three, four, rest. And then we do the whole thing over again. It's A13 with the open A to E7 with open E. Then we do it again, A13 to E7. Then we do it another time. E, then we yeah, hold on A13 into the next part. Open A, fourth fret on E, then that F sharp, A, O, E. The guitar solo is over that same part. And you basically, basically have one other really fun part. I'm thinking of is the E major Hendrix major chord that I refer to. It's uh, basically barring the ninth fret and then hammering on the eleventh fret on the A string. And 
I'm just hammering on the D string next. I'm kind of focused on these like three strings right here. Same thing a whole step down. And then I'm in the spot already to play an E power chord with the open E in there. Tenacious D was rocking to it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, that was it. Hope you got something from that. Thanks for learning, hopefully. And uh, you can try the site out for free for three days. Once again, thank you, and we'll see you real soon.